Stephen Colbert, Trevor Noah, and Seth Meyers react to Monday's Trump-Russia indictments with some cathartic glee in what looks to be just the start of a late-night comedy feeding frenzy at the news at the first indictments have been handed down in Robert Mueller as Trump-Russia investigation, Trevor Noah, Stephen Colbert, and Seth Meyers all took well-earned, long-delayed pleasure in mocking the crumbling house of Trump on Monday. The Friday announcement of Monday's indictments of former Trump campaign chair Paul Manafort, Manafort as Prod G and Trump campaign figure Rick Gates, and Trump foreign policy adviser George Papadopoulos left Trump, Fox News, and Trump as shrinking loyalist Internet Army sweating, stewing, and tweeting out easily debunked Hillary Clinton conspiracy theories. In turn, the three late-night hosts took turns playing Trump shadden for a whack-a-mole. Colbert and Myers both showed how Fox has done everything possible to ignore the story all Monday mainly by focusing on more pressing Halloween candy and hamburger emoji stories. On The Late Show, Colbert whose simultaneously smug and wheedling Trump impression is highly underrated read on Trump as increasingly frantic and sloppy pleas for his supporters to do something. Before concluding, there is something so reassuring about the president screaming do something. Into the void. On The Daily Show, Noah's turn with the mallet saw him doing his best. To camera Freddy Krueger post Joe Kill Quip, Happy Halloween, bitch, to the free on minus $10 million bond Manafort before conceding that, as Trump tweeted, Mueller's indictment mainly concerns itself with the shady Trump was as pre-campaign alleged crimes. However, Noah noted that that is actually pretty bad news for Trump, since it means that Mueller is not confining things to campaign collusion, with the very scary-sounding charge conspiracy against the United States ominous.